Hey guys, welcome to another video for Project Station Invasion. Now as I said in the last video, we're going to be looking at uh, creating items. Now the items and materials are two separate, completely separate um, entities. What we currently have listed as items at the moment, we will uh, change and list as materials because that's exactly what they are and items will be objects created uh, from these materials well more specifically from the raw materials <coughs> uh, at the moment the whole structure of the um, the materials is I'd say pretty much flawed in the fact there's you know so many combinations and there's only a hundred raw materials that can be made so we're gonna I'm um, gonna sort of re uh, either rethink the whole concept of it or um, just sort of change it about or give some kind of hint as to what creates what raw materials you know so anyway moving on first thing I'm going to do because it's starting to bug me actually is we're going to come into our play.php page and the button which says items I'm just going to say materials I'm also going to rename the um, item list plugin and to say material or material list plugin scan and oops material so now if we come over and just refresh materials we still get the same um, list composed to us providing everything is changed so make sure you change the um, item that the target and the load plugin and you change both the folder in the plugins folder to material list and the actual script to material list dot plugin dot php so moving on to the items the items we're going I'm going to be looking at I'm going to create um, a couple of items just basic items it's going to be some some form of armor we're going to have um, some core some form of close combat weapon and I'm going to have a ranged weapon uh, just just to sort of kick things off so I'm going to go create the database for that and I'm just going to populate um, three item, uh, the three items in there. Okay, so I have a table here called Item Recipes. So and we'll have a look at the structure. The ID column is an, integer, an unsigned integer with an auto increment and is our primary key. <coughs> Uh, we've got an item name, which is a, 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 var, a, var car, a varchar, uh, 255 characters in length. We've also got material list, which is the same thing. Um, we could expand this list. We probably will expand the list uh, shortly, but for now this will do. When we come over and have a look at what each of the um, fields contain. Now the ID and the item name are probably self-explanatory. The ID contains the um, incremented ID of the, each um, item. The item name, obviously, is the name of the item that's being uh, that, you know it is going to be crafted. Now the material list is a series of numbers separated by commas, and this is the list of all of the. Um, raw materials required to make 
the um, this specific item. So for the armoring, we need an item five, a uh, seven, a forty-seven, and a one. Um, for the combat blade, we need two eights, a ninety-nine, and a fifty-two. And for the gun, it's a seven, nine, four, a fifty-four, and a thirty-three. Now we can obviously pull the names of each of the raw materials required when we build the actual um, crafting page. But the reason I've done it this way is so that we can um, have any max, you know, have any amount of um, items, or you know, sort of as as little as items that we need to create this particular item. So we're going to move on and create the crafting page. So again this is going to be another plugin so we'll make a new folder we'll just call this craft and we want to add a button in for the crafting. So after refinery I'll add one and call it craft. Again we'll change load plugin um, to match the folders and files. So when we come over to um, our game and we refresh it we've got this craft button now appeared. Now when we click it nothing's going to happen because obviously we haven't created the file. <coughs> so if we come back over and we'll create oh, a new PHP file. Just get rid of all this. And we will include the required um, scripts, which is the setup.include.php file and the load character data.include file. <coughs> so we're connected to the database and we're loading up our character information. We're going to um, have the layout, well part of the layout similar to what we've got in the refinery. We've got a list of the compounds and stabilizers down one side. Um, I'm going to put a list of all the um, materials, the raw materials that we own um, down on that side again. Might remove it afterwards. But it's it's there for now. So we can just um, take this chunk here, and we can paste this in. And we want to replace compound with raw. And replace um, the array name with um, our raw materials name. <coughs> so we're now going to um, just echo out these raw materials. So we're going to come down and I've just pulled the um, item listing uh, from the refine plugin. And we're just going to remove the stabilizers. And we're going to replace the compounds with raw materials. So we're going to save this. And again, it's in the plugins and in the craft. And we're going to call this craft.plugin.php. <coughs> just uh, change that. Make sure it is a PHP file. Let's reopen it. There we go. So now, when we come over to um, our craft, you can see here we've got something that's not quite right here. Oh, materials. It's just uh, see what's going on. 
Bum, 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 bum. Use materials, use materials. Oh, I forgot to change the um, compound to the raw material um, table name. And keep doing it. Raw materials, raw materials there and there as well. So when we save this. We come back in. We now have a list of all of the raw materials. Um, we're going to want to change a couple of things because we're not in this one. We're not going to be um, dragging and dropping the items into the um, into any boxes. So we'll first change this heading to raw materials. And we can get rid of this um, span tag here. This hidden input and the closing span tag. Uh, uh, I think we'll leave we'll leave that there for now. The um, span tag which holds the quantity <laughs> because we might want to change that uh, when we're crafting. So when we refresh. Or you can see it's changed to raw materials. We don't have the um, cursor. So what we're going to do now is we're going to form like a, a, a table in this empty space here. And in this table we're going to have a list of all the items that we can create on the uh, left hand side and then when you click the um, item you want to craft you get a list of all of the raw materials in the, in, in the middle and then um, in the right hand box of that table we're going to have a craft button or a message saying that you you're unable to craft the item due to lack of materials and what we'll do is we'll either um, list the items and materials uh, the list the materials and um, that we're missing or we could in the center box where it lists um, what items are required we can make the um, items the, the the colors of the items red so I'm going to form a list of um, all the items down one side and uh, lay out the other two boxes now. Okay, so as you can see here, we have um, a list of items that we can um, produce. Um, and just here we've got placeholders, we've got a material listing which will go here. We've got a crafting button and messages um, that will go here. So, at this point here, um, above the div that we're um, listing out the item class, uh, item list, um, our first div contains uh, the for each loop for a query that, we've, uh, that I've run. And that query is that we're selecting all from recipes, uh, item recipes, sorry. Uh, we're obviously connecting to the database, and while the row equals the uh, fetch object, we're then storing this, storing that in a, uh, another um, array. Now, in fact, we don't want materials, uh, the material list here. So, uh, for load purposes, we can remove the uh, materials list and we just want to collect the um, ID and the item name of each element inside of there. The ID we're going to be using shortly. Um, so yeah, 
that's um, pulling up a list of all the items that we can create. Uh, we've got a list uh, material listing um, here and a crafting button and messages in here. Now each of these three divs are um, floated to the left. They've got a width of 25% and a height of 450 pixels. This should cause the um, lists to start scrolling. Maybe. We'll have a look at it. Okay, so as you can see, the <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, if the material list or the items list um, extend exceeds that 450 pixel limit, um, the whole thing will scroll. If you want to um, change that so only the individual box scrolls, what you want to do is you want to come over to your style and you want to apply it apply an overflow and have it auto so now when you come to it the whole thing you just got a single uh, scroll box there which are after if you apply some padding and um, space it space some of these things out it would look a lot better um, but for now I'm just going to keep it so all of the boxes scroll um I don't need the um any scrolling at the moment. I've got three items. Um but I might might need it in the future. So uh I'll deal with that when it comes to um dealing with styling and whatnot. <coughs> so one last bit I'm going to address before um, I end the video is we want the this um, item to have a hover state or the, this paragraph to have a hover state and when you click that hover state um, the item will become highlighted and I'll show you how to do it so first we want to give this class this um div a class and we'll just call it item uh, listing. No we don't want to give that um item recipes. Um and now we want to add in some script. <coughs> So we're going to call up this um, item recipes class. Now we go. We want to start off like that. <coughs> and now we want to call the um, item recipes class. And we're just going to say on the click, yeah, do a function. Um, in that function, we're going to say uh, this dot CSS. I think it's back ground color and we'll give it a color of red for now and see if that works because I really can't remember how to use the uh, background the uh, CSS part of this Bear with me while I uh, find out how to use this. Okay, it should be um, comma um, before we change the value. 
like that I think instead of a colon so we'll save this and we'll come back over here I know it might sound daft uh, the fact that I've just had to look that up but I don't often use the CSS property um, sorry we want to add a paragraph um, identifier in the uh, after the item recipes otherwise this is the effect you get so that's highlighting um, upon the click and now what we want to do is we want to turn off um, all the background colors when on all the on all of the other items when we click one item so you want to do is you want to do um, an each loop uh, so we're saying for each um, we just take that oops take that there for each paragraph tag within um, the items recipes list we want to do um, do a function and this function is the same as this except we're just going to remove the um, background color and we just make sure this works so we highlight one and now as you can see we're flicking between each of the items uh, I think what we'll do is we'll give this a, a dark shade of red instead of a uh, dark shade of grey sorry instead of red that looks a bit nicer on each of these paragraph tags we're going to give it some style and we're going to give it some padding we're not going to have any top and bottom we're going to have five pixels either side and we also want um, we have to wrap this in a span tag because otherwise for some reason hold on, no, no, no I'm not doing something wrong here let's give that a go, hold on wrap this in a span tag, give us a style with a where the cursor is a pointer So now when we go to the craft, <coughs> as you can see, this now has um, a pointer, a yeah, a pointer finger when we hover, but it doesn't seem to be applying the padding on both sides. It There you go, that's a bit better. And also give it some padding of three pixels. I want I want. Duh. No, I don't. Oh no, that is right. It's because it's so offset that it's playing with my eyes. So in the next video we're going to generate a list of all the items that is required to make this item after we um, click on the item here so join me in the next video